All right, welcome back for part two. Part two is where we will verify the placement of the NG tube. So there are three different ways to do this, but the first thing we'll do is we'll assess the posterior pharynx area um, after asking the patient to speak say something and we'll look and see if there's any coiled tube in the back of the throat. As long as that's all good, they can speak and there's no coiled tube, we will go ahead and proceed with one of three methods to verify placement. Those three methods are going to be via auscultation, the aspiration of gastric contents, or x-ray of the chest and abdomen. Um, so the first thing we can do is um, demonstration of the gastric contents. So the tube is in place. We're going to take the end. We're going to clamp it. We're, um, well, not the end, but the, the ending of the tubing before it gets to the pigtail. We'll go ahead and clamp. We will um, attach a, a piston syringe. We'll go ahead and unclamp it. We'll aspirate a bit of content. Um, we're going to look for the color and all of that, um, probably green or brown, and then we'll go ahead and place an aspirant onto a pH paper. It should be between about 1 and 4 if it's stomach contents, but the strip will read about 1 to 11. As long as it's within the right pH range, that should give us an idea that we've aspirated gastric contents, meaning that we are in fact in the stomach. The other way is to go ahead and auscultate. So same thing. The... Um, Tube is in, is in the patient. We'll go ahead and find the end of the tubing here and we'll clamp it again. We'll attach the piston syringe, unclamp it, um, and we'll, instead of aspirating, we'll actually insert about 20 milliliters of just plain air. And while we go ahead and insert this air, we're gonna use our stethoscope and we're gonna auscultate. Um, we're gonna auscultate the fundus of the stomach. So you'll find the xiphoid process and right to the uh, left of the xiphoid process, we'll go ahead and listen. For the, the whoosh of air, when you insert that 20 milliliters of air, you should hear that little whoosh, meaning that you're inserting air into the stomach. Um, that's the second way to go ahead and verify placement. And then the last way is actually the golden standard for most facilities like Advent Health is a chest and abdomen x-ray where you can fully actually visualize the tubing in the stomach where it should be. Once you've gone ahead and verified the placement, you can go ahead and attach the tube um, to the gown. You'll do this by using another piece of tape. You'll make a little flag with the piece of tape like so and then you'll use the tape to be safety pinned to the gown. You don't ever want to actually pin the tubing or pin around the tubing. It can clamp it or pierce it and again it'll go ahead and affect the, the suction there and prevent the entire purpose of the NG tube to remove the stomach contents. Um, in addition to that, the patient needs to be sitting uh, semi fellers at least 30 degrees, um, and then that pigtail needs to go ahead and always remain above the, the patient's stomach level. Um, all of this is, of course, the standard, but the provider can always order something different based on the situation. All right, end of part two.